what is rain alarm and how that is how does it work so so basically the alarm is made by the rain uh, it can be used as a switch when rain drop fall through the raining board or on the roof or somewhere else uh, the sensor is used in, detec in detection of drops in amount of rainfall so so as we as we can see rain sensor is a switching device so as you can see this is the basic circuit for the rain alarm that we will simulate using proteus software so for this simulation we make a slightly changes by changing the probe into a normal switch this is because we cannot find the probe in the software but the objectively of the probe is similar to the normal switch because as you can see the probe is act like a switch to the circuit next we will add a led indicator that connected series with the speaker or buzzer to indicate the buzzer is on and if the circuit is fully connected the speaker will produce sound so the main idea for this alarm is when rain drop or water touch the probe the probe will complete the circuit and cause the buzzer produce the sound so next we're going to stimulate the circuit by using proteus software so next we open the proteus software and click new project So we name it the green alarm. So next. Okay, next finish. So next we're going to find the component that we use for this circuit. So we're gonna find resistor. Now next is capacitor. Okay, for the next is transistor and the code is VC548 the NPN type so next is another transistor too which is VC558 PNP version Next, we're going to choose LED. So, next is battery. Uh, next, so we are going to choose buzzer and as you can see we change the probe into a normal switch okay that's all for the component that we are going to use for this skirt so we are going to assemble all the components
we arrange the component according to the basic circuit that as we see from previous video Next, we setting the switch. And next, we started to connect all the components using wires. Just, just drag the cursor into the component So we connect the com the, all the components. So next we go to setting for the resistor, which is three hundred and thirty k ohm. And next for the battery, we use three volt source. And for the capacitor, we set to 0 0.01 millifarad. And next, we're going to stimulate. So as you can see, the LED is on when the switch is closed. And the LED will off when the switch is open and when the LED is on so obviously the buzzer also on so that's all